My mother was born in between the Great Depression and World War II. She didn't see a balloon until she was 10 years old. She grew up on a dairy farm in Northern Utah, where she learned her life lessons that she passed on to me. One particular lesson I'll never forget was discovered while she was knee deep while scooping poop. Fast forward 33 years, when I'm her age, and I come walking into my mother's office, probably trying to get out of my own, my own chores. I came in there and I noticed that there was a sticky note on the left top corner of her computer. And I remember what the message was because I could almost smell its content. And the sticky note said, challenges are like manure. They sure do stink, but they certainly help things to grow. I didn't know that that message would come back to help me when I found myself 10 years later on the floor next to an unpainted barn in Idaho. I'd just fallen 40 feet. The scaffolding that I was on, that I personally constructed, had slipped out from underneath me, crashing to the ground in a pile of scrap metal down below. I hit the ground straight-legged. My legs came up and my back came down and compressed my, my back, leaving me paralyzed from the waist down. My dreams of playing football was shattered, was gone. The foundation that I had created vanished in a second. My world that I knew it was no longer there. And I had a decision to make. I could wallow in my syrupy sticking son of self-pity and wilt away, or I could pick myself up, dust myself off, and take this experience and grow. But I believe that every single one of us have created a foundation, has created a foundation that we've placed our life on, we've built our life on, and it's slipped out from underneath us and fallen 40 feet, shattered, broken glass. I may be physically paralyzed, but I believe most of us, if not all of us, are paralyzed with the demons of doubt, fear, and complacency. And we've just had a psychological tsunami that has just coursed through our country, wiping companies, people, in fact, even maybe you, where you feel like you can't get back up. I was given a 0% chance of ever standing, walking, and moving my legs again. I didn't listen to the experts, and I listened to my mom. I remember those words that came flashing back into my mind. And that is, I can take my crap and turn it into a crop and see things as they can be instead of what they can't be. Dreams do come true if you have a definite desire, determination, and dedication to do, even while dealing with difficulties. Some people may say, impossible. I say, I'm possible. I say, you're possible. You are the solution to impossible.